welcome back to my channel. I oh, I have a smoothie on the sides of my mouth. I hope you're having a good day. I want to jump on here and do a makeup testing. Saw this trend coming up on my TikTok of cloud makeup, and I thought I'd try it out because it's very different to like the hyper dewy kind of Charlotte Tilbury youthful skin look that we've been really after the past year or two. So the definition of cloud makeup I have on my iPad is cloud makeup consists of creating a soft and hazy matte look while letting your skin breathe and un allowing a natural glow. This was coined by Dominique Skinner and it's a versatile look. So we're going for a matte look so no highlight or anything like that but we're just having like a matte probably like a semi matte look to our skin so we're going to try that today I've already put moisturizer on my face and I have no matte primers so we're not going for a matte primer obviously so we're going to just jump in to foundation straight away and I have three options I could use the airbrush flawless foundation by Charlotte Tilbury I could either use its glow time Radium foundation by W7, which this says it's radium, but it's a matte foundation. Or I could go in with the Rimmel Match Perfection eh, because this is a thicker foundation formula. So I think I'll go in with Rimmel because you haven't seen me use Rimmel on my channel. So we'll go in with that. And before we go in with our foundation, I'm going to pop a little concealer under my eyes. So let's go with this. Um, I also got myself a hand mirror, so it's easier. This is a Shein brush that looks like a rare beauty brush. The Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. I got this in the shade 100 Ivory. I remember loving this foundation ages ago it looks a bit dark for me but yeah it's a thicker consistency so hopefully this spreads out lovely and it doesn't oxidize but it is giving a nice oh the smell of this is so nostalgic I'm just focusing on the centre of my face, but I probably will add a little more on the red parts of my face because I'm putting that with my finger to get coverage and to warm it into my skin. So I'm gonna take my um setting spray and wet my sponge because I don't want to get up. I remember loving this foundation years ago before I went cruelty free and found out that Rimmel was not cruelty free. The match is not looking perfection right now. Maybe I've just gotten paler. But we can fix it if it's not. This looks beautiful on the skin though use this more because this looks beautiful on the skin pump out a wee bit just for my little cheeks but this sorry I'm just blocking the the way my skin looks with this is beautiful and I think this foundation's around a tenner which is not bad at all looking lovely it is kind of giving matte like natural hues if i do say so myself maybe cheating but natural hues to me is like little bits of blush and I want to use some of my Glossier blush. So I'm just going to tap this on because we can powder. 
You can always put it. I'm gonna tap this on and I'm gonna go in and blend straight away because I feel like I feel when this sits too long, it kind of eats the foundation. Yeah, like there's no foundation where I just there's no foundation left where I've just placed this. It's really annoying, but I'm going to put so much powder here. Well, I'm going to go in with a old faithful. So, just on this elf blush brush. I don't know if they still make this. I have this years. I'm gonna tap under my eyes and tap this powder under my eyes because we want a lot of mattifying powders. I'm the best powder known to me is this Charlotte Tilbury one. And you just pack this on, and this will give a matte look doubly check that I have powdered everywhere with the current Obsession bronzer which is Miss Charlotte's bronzer now the I don't know if I got the subtle hues thing down I want my bronzer to be seen. I always feel like I have to put extra bronzer on my forehead because I'd be doing so much thinking. I'm not doing highlighter. I'm gonna take the Charlotte's... what's the full name of this? The Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Eye Face Micro Powder. I'm taking this white powder. And I'm going to take it on the back of the brush I was just using and I'm going to pat it under the eye to bring light here because oh, you can, oh, I nearly dropped that powder you can see the difference it's already whitening and brightening I'm just going to take it here so there's some dimension to my face, even if it appears somewhat matte. Well, definitely matte. Take a little bit of that down here. And kind of in the center of my face. Because it is quite brightening and to finish off brows and mascara hello so the video cut out the storage on my phone got full i don't have the mic plugged in right now but i finished the makeup this is what we're looking like um i'm not doing my hair right now because i'm literally in my pajamas and you don't need my hair done to look how nice this makeup is it's cloud makeup. It's I've seen TikToks. I was like, this is what the dream map Maybelline Dream Mousse, Dream Matte Mousse, was made for. But I just like I didn't put highlight on. I swear. I don't. There's smoothie under my nail as well. That's why. <laughs> but I think it's beautiful. Would I wear this every day? No. I feel if I wore matte makeup every day, my skin would actually give out to me since I have such dry skin. The cloud makeup is for people who can handle oily or er, handle oily people who want matte makeup who are kind of more oilier in skin. I'm making no sense. But yeah, and if you missed it, I used the e.l.f. wire brow in my eyebrows. I don't know how to position. I use the e.l.f. wire brow in my eyebrows and then I used the Lucura Too Legit Mascara and this is how my skin is looking with the Rimmel foundation with the Charlotte Tilbury powder like no 
creasing around the nose that is always very dark around my nose so don't mind that i fucked up my mascara what i i would rate this like a six out of ten it's not bad not for me but people who can pull off the dream skin the dream skin the matte people that can pull off this cloud makeup are gonna pull it off me i can't pull it off because in about an hour my skin's gonna be dry and flaky so <laughs> that's just the way it is i'm a dewy gal loving it for now uh it's an easy trend to get onto it's um i still like the kind of natural glow that i'm getting from my skin and the foundation that i used but it's so dry and the lines by my eyes are being more pronounced so that's the only bad things i have done oh and the lipstick i put on is very victoria it's like a brownie version of pillow talk so yeah i'll see you next time bye